Yeah. Right, the roof. Um, all I want to do here, I'll just talk you through the stages that we do. I'm not going to film us doing it because we ain't got time. We've got work to do. Isn't that right, Melv? Yeah. We've got work to do. So, um, that plate's been temporarily fixed to the wall. Uh, and when it's all set out, Melvin's doing the setting out now for these um, roof lights. Um, we'll put the thunderbolts in or maybe after once the joists are in. Uh, I'm not too sure, but we'll see how we go. Um, I've screwed them bits of 4x2 underneath. Oh, that, can you see that? Um, that's just so, it's just easier trying to hold them uh, rafters up in the steel and then fix them. They just sit on top of there. Uh, and then we nail them and then um, take that off and put the jiffy hangers on. Right, this side. Uh, I'm so glad that brickwork's finished. Uh, full plates on there, like I said, we put that on dry. That's nice and straight. Um, I've just put a few pads loads in there, but we will screw and plug that uh, in time. Uh, what we've done here, this got a course high area. Can you see that? That's because you, because of this insulation we've got down here and these warm roofs um, you get a great big fascia on it so if you, know, if you can take 75 mil off the fascia it helps and we just notch notch round um, I suppose you could go too coarse really I don't know if you'd have to you have to work something out for your fascia to pick it up but I don't think we've got a soffit on here anyway anyway but that's what we've done um, yeah it's all good right getting on with the roof that far done. I think there's been a mistake being made here though. Easily corrected. That end rafter there should be in line with that last third one to pick the uh, furring piece up. I didn't set that out but that's not a problem. I can alter this one. I've already marked this out. I'll just sit here that side if that's how it's supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it is. We just put a plant there and there. Um, this one's correct. Let's have a look at the other side, and that one's correct. So, yeah, it is wrong, but that's not a problem. Uh, yeah, I'll just show you up the other end um, something. I'll show you this. this. Remember, I put this on temporary. That's so you can just sit all your um, rafters on there, it just makes it so much easier. Now, we've got to put these poxy jiffy hangers on. Um, which are an absolute pain, I think. Um, there is a gun you can get for fixing all the holes, fixing the holes with, but about 700 quid, I think, I don't know. But do you want to show how we used to do it um, in olden days? We used to nail a bit of batten, fix a bit of batten, right the way along there, all the way along, and then notch out the bottom of that joist, see where I've cut it out, and then that batten there, and then that would sit on top of the batten. Ain't going nowhere, quicker, simpler, but no, nah, you've got to use these things now. We've been using them a long time. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, Mel's going to get some faces just so we can determine the right size. I know it's 16 mil, but it depends where he gets it from. I'm not sure on the lip. So uh, he'll be back with that. Then we'll do that end bit. Okay, the roof. Um, building inspector's just been past everything. Um, so just let me show you. The progress. Um, Jiffy hangers are in. They're all in. Um, right. The lights, the roof lights, with they're all done in the. They're on triples. Oh. You can see that. Um, and all six by twos. Uh, it's all this new insulation thing. Uh, actually, they're not six by twos. We can't get um, 150 insulation in them, but. Film inspectors happy with 140 or, or whatever, and then 25 mil on the outside or well, on the inside. Um, seems to be that it has to be 150. Um, I think 175 they want. So it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you achieve the 175. Uh, yeah, a small plate on. Right, let me take you upstairs and I'll show you what we've done there. So um, this is the first layer of ply goes on. I'm going to put that on uh, and then in 100 mil insulation uh, well 150 sorry 150 insulation that goes on with the big screws and it's another layer of ply on top of that um, we put one side up there 
can't put the other side in there because we've got to get a bit of insulation in there and um, we haven't got it here so but that's that's not a problem uh here i'll show you like i said we knocked this over here just to reduce the height of the um fascia uh what else was there oh yeah and then i'll, I'll put this upstand on here um that go all the way along it needs another plant a little bit bigger um just so you can back your insulation up and everything up to it and you've got something to fix your gut in and face your two and all that something solid otherwise you, know, you can't fix the insulation can you um i think that's it really i don't know um i'll cocked up there a little bit i weren't going to tell you but who cares uh, you know you, you bring this out i told you, you just um bring it out that little bit because of the uh, extra joint there um, but I forgot here because that corner weren't built but it's not a problem all we're going to do is um, once we get all the insulation out there I've got just a little bit I'll rent take that with a little bit of render just so the uh, flat roof has got something to stick it to um, not sure about this architect though um, these lights you might as well just have one big one mightn't you and this is you know this is the dimensions we got in the drawing I mean, old felt roofer won't be too happy in there, will he? But there you go, that's his job, not my problem. Um, right, I'm going to crack on and I'll show you a little bit later. Where's your dust mask? That's the easiest way to cut that outside. Nice warm day, isn't it? Lovely sunny day, look at this. A little bit of frost tonight, but yeah, rain next week though, isn't it? So, get them down, eh? Get them down this week before the rain comes. Right, um, got the insulation down, uh, paper barriers in. <coughs> paper barriers. Yeah, there's, there's, the, the building inspector was quite happy with this. Well, he, he said just put um, DPM down, but there's various ones you can use. The trouble is, you, you nail through it and you put an hole through it. I, I don't see how it works, but um, there are others which are bitumen backed, um, like silver foil thing. Um, you stick that down, they reckon when you fix the nail through it, it sort of welds around it, but the building inspector wanted this, so we'll go along with that. It's easier for us anyway. So yeah, that's all in. I'll trim all that off later. Uh, now we get a second lot of ply on. Yeah. Right, back here on this extension. Um, the roof's all done felt with, but look at this. Poxy weather. Uh, frost everywhere. Can't get up on here. It's uh, oh, too dangerous, too slippery. So we're going to have to leave that for a while. Um, but what I was going to do anyway, we're... Um, Everything's so wet, I mean, you've been following it, you know how bad it's been, all the weather we've been through. Um, got a bit of effervescence and it's just a little bit, a little bit grubby, it just can't be helped. So I'm going to give it a light acid wash uh, <coughs> before we get up here and put these coping stones on. Uh, there's a coping stone to do and it looks like the, the felt's got to be pointed in the back of the house. Uh, we'll do that later, I mean, coping stones are up here if we had them up on the crane. Um, Right, acid, brick acid, um, it's hydrochloric acid, muriatic acid, uh, been using it for years, you've got to be a bit careful with it, I mean the brick acid you buy is um, quite diluted, I think the strongest you get is about 25%, I'll do it 50-50 and this, if they're yellow bricks, I mean I don't often wash brick work down, don't have to normally, but um, we are here. Uh, you got to be careful with yellow bricks because it will it will turn them green. It it puts a green tint on them um, if you put it on too strong. Right, I'll put it in a spray, spray it on the spray, and just clean the levels while I'm at it. Uh, I always wash down the wall first. You always do that. Um, wet the wall down. Obviously not too much because um, we're trying to prevent the effervescence. But you need to wash it down uh, and just let it give it 10 minutes just soak in that creates a barrier 
so that the acid when it goes on the wall and it's more to more with the mortar really it doesn't sink into the mortar because it'll just it'll destroy it it'll weaken it and that um uh, bit of soaking before you do it um, prevents it soaking in uh, and it, help, it helps clean it up a little bit doesn't it um tools i mean that uh that's plastic and the fittings on it are brass so that's fine uh, you can use, if you ain't got a lot to do, you can use a bucket and a, a brush um, but it needs to be a hair brush, uh, like a natural brush, even nylon uh, brush reacts with uh, the acid. It won't cause any dangerous gases or anything but it just weakens it uh, and if you've really got to clean something that's really dirty with a wire brush, it's got to be a copper brush, copper wire brush, um, metal, anything metal, metal buckets, anything like that, it will just react with the acid and uh, weaken it. Um, so it won't do the job. So I'm going to uh, give this a soak in now um, and give it a spray. What I'll give it a spray, leave it on about 10 minutes and depending on how much acid I've got, um, I'll just give it another little spray and I'll just go over it quickly with a scrubbing brush, um, just a light brush and that's all it needs really. It's, it's not really dirty, it's just so a bit, just where everything was so wet. All right. Right, the coping stones. Lovely day, isn't it? Look, sun's out. All that fog's gone. Right, uh, the coping stones. DBC down there first. There's a tray underneath that. Um, right, what I do, I lay them all dry. Get them up here, lay them dry. Right the way through there to this end. And I've got me cut. Cut the cut. This cut's been cut around the wrong way, but no one's going to see it. I should prefer the factory edge here, but it's good. It's okay. And then, bed that one bed the end one take that one out and put it there sounds complicated it's not and then we just spread the bed just lift it up move it along that one to there that one to there then drop that one in that way it fits i've worked with people before and it, uh, they measure it with a tape and put the cut and you get to the end and the fucking cut's not right and that this way it's 100 it, you know it's going to work and uh i just think it's easier yeah so we do that, and the other side there, point that in, I think that'd be it. Use the old air fryer for much? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Getting used to it? Yeah. Get the hose down there later. It's where it comes easy. Okay. Hold up, I've got a little fucking string line on my hand. Why? I don't know, I'll put it the wrong way round. Right. Yeah. Yeah, all good. 
Yeah, that way with your line, you've got your height and your wall Yeah. Perfect. I didn't do like that when I put one. You didn't? No, I used level. <laughs> yeah. Can do, but it's going to be like that. It's going to be right with the line in it. Exactly. Wall might not be level. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Could be running out a little bit. Mm. Don't make no difference, but you could run for something to nothing using the level. Yeah. Can't get the last one down. Well, tough have done the brickwork. Oh well, it would. <laughs> Hang on, we're on camera here. No oh. slandering. <laughs> It was good for a oh, right. Nice and level. Good. Oh, good. Right. 